mysterious criminal who calls himself the Eagle is plotting against the directors of an airplane factory whom he has tried to frighten with warnings written on the sky in smoke and fire. The directors have reason to suspect that the Eagle is Nathan Gregory, owner of a small carnival show, who has accused them of stealing from him an invention that is worth a fortune. Agents of the Eagle, posing as relatives of Gregory, have railroaded him to a private sanitarium. But Gregory's daughter, Jean, also held captive in the sanitarium, has outwitted her nurse and phoned for help. Craig McCoy, stunt flyer with the carnival, has entered the sanitarium disguised in a surgeon's mask and smock, while his friend, the strong man, waits outside with a car to get Gregory away. Let me go. Let me go, I tell you. I don't belong in the house. Get a motor started. Get in the car. I hold these boys up. Come on, we've got to stop Gregory. If we stop, they'll get us. Don't stop. Go on. It's no use. We've had a blowout. There's still a chance, Daddy. Let's run for it. Put the spare on, they'll be halfway to town. Well, change it quick as you can. Pick me up at the drugstore. I've got to report to the Eagle. What do those fellows mean by coming here creating a disturbance? Well, what a sock in the jaw I got. Sure, we'll have a fight while it lasts. I'll say it was. One of the men didn't get away. He must still be in that room. Let's find out. Okay, let's look. Another minute, we'd have been too late to revive him. Get me a wet cloth. You needn't bother anymore. I'll take charge of him. We're going to bring this fellow to and turn him over to the police. Oh, yeah? got away, but McCoy is still in the hospital. Yeah, 
Okay, Ma. I got you. The boss has got a great idea, but we've got to get a hold of the leather coat somewhere. What's the matter with the one in the back of the car there? McCoy's own flying tog. <laughs> what could be sweeter? <laughs> Back to the hospital, quick. Just a minute, big boy. You're going in the wrong direction. Take him out the car at the curb. And don't think I'm kidding. One of these days, I make you eat this pub gun. a couple of minutes between acts just to sneak in and say, howdy. Gee, it's good to have you back with us again, Mr. Gregory. And it's good to be back again, too, Billy. But I'm worried about Craig. Why doesn't he come back? They got him away from me. Well, what you doing, you big palooka? Picking peppers off a gun? Do you quit picking on me? I did my best I could. But they had a gun on me. Ah, you're still a big palooka. That settles it. None of you are safe as long as the eagle continues his attacks on me. Daddy, what can we do? There's only one thing to do. Give myself up to the police. The police? My skipper, they'll arrest you for the Eagles' crimes. I know. But if they have me in jail and the crimes continue, it will prove my innocence. Your father is right, Gene. It'll not only prove his innocence, but he'll be safe from his enemies. When do you figure on doing it? There's no use putting it off. Arrest him. I got a warrant for your arrest, Gregory. You're not so smart. Mr. Gregory was on his way to jail, where he'd be safe from you birds. That's a pretty thin story. But it's true. What, give yourself up with all the Eagles' crimes against you? My father is not the Eagle, and no one knows it better than you. What do you mean by that? What do you think she means, you lame brain? I cut out the round. If Mr. Gregory was on his way to the station, I don't guess you've got any objections to going along with us. So you think I'm the eagle, do you? Then how do you explain that skyrocket? Another message from the eagle. Stanley. Look. He has written your name. And now he's drawing a line through it. I'm a marked man. And it also proves that Mr. Gregory is not the eagle. Nothing of the sort. It means that somebody's doing the writing for it. Probably young McCoy. Look, the plane's in trouble. He's going to make a forced landing. I'm going to see who's in that plane. 
You take charge of the prisoner, gentlemen. Making his landing all right. Yeah. Here comes the police car. Everything is working out as figured. his hands. I hear something for him to find when they search him. Seconds later, and he got away from us. Craig, you, the Sky Rider. That's not true, Gene. I wasn't in that plane. The whole thing's a frame up. Keep quiet. How did you two men happen to be on the job this way? Oh, why, we're a couple of private detectives working on the case of the airplane company. Uh, it's a lie. He's working for the Eagle. Looks to me like you're working for the Eagle. We'll find out more about this when we get back to Carnival Grounds. Can you drive my car? Yes. You two men stay here with the plane. Come on. Come on. Well, hello, Mr. Green. I've been looking for you. How did you know I was here? I phoned the office and Mr. Ward told me. I've made some important discoveries. I see you've got the eagle. And I've got clues that lead to McCoy as his aide. The fellow who has been writing his uh, messages into the sky. What have you got to say about that, Gregory? I am not interested in the stupid lies of your paid thugs. What's that? Green. You heard what he said. So you caught the sky writer, red-handed, just as he was trying to make his getaway from the plane. Did you find anything on him that shows he's working with Gregory? You know he didn't. You framed me, but you can't drag Mr. Gregory into this. I'm not so sh... I haven't searched you yet. Stand by. When the directors reach the carnival grounds, write Danby and draw a line to it. G. I suppose it's useless to deny writing that. Certainly, it's useless to deny anything. They framed their plot too well. You can arrest me, but not till after I've told my friends the truth. The frame-up was perfect. They planted these flying togs on me, planted the forged note in my pocket, and planted one thing more on me that you haven't found yet. One thing that I can use against you. They planted this. We don't stand a chance, Mr. Gregory. Make a run for it. Make a run for it. Drop that gun. Gee. Drop it. Hold it. You talk of frame-ups after what you've done to my father. You use that skywriting in your own crooked game. You planted that note to make it appear that you were only an agent of my father. Then you urge him to flee, branding him, your best friend, as guilty. We'll see that he gets what he deserves. Stand where you are. We carnival people have our own way of dealing with traitors. Take him. And peg him out. Peg him out? 
Jean, you don't mean... You know what I mean. It's a trick to get him away from us. You think it's a trick, do you? Well, see for yourselves. Take him outside. We may be mistaken, Jean. Hadn't we better stop them before it's too late? He's guilty. Let them peg him off. I'm not guilty. 